new product that we've been uh, working with with New Age Floral, who are based in America. And um, personally, I think it's a game changer for uh, funeral work and especially for wedding work when you're wanting to put things up into, uh, you know, on arches or on moon gates and so on. Um, it's in a biodegradable uh, bag and it comes in two sizes, five by five and six by nine. So um, obviously it's quite loose inside. There's like a coir inside. So that looks like this and it turns into, it's completely regenerative and it turns into literally a compost after time. So it's got a gel in it which encourages it to hold water, similar to the sort of food cultural gels and things that you use. So um, I'm going to use a Biolit square base today, uh, like this one here. And this one has been on here for some time. This has started to solidify now. It's probably been on here at least three weeks and as part of our trials and has been tied on with the waxed hemp, which is also a new age floral product. And it's great. Waterproof, no fear of this breaking at all and yet it is biodegradable. Sometimes when you tie on with string over time, it tends to, uh, it tends to break or rot. So this has got a little bit longer longevity and I think especially if you're tying things, uh, for example, you're tying up on arches, or something like that, or a structure for a wedding, you want it to be uh, biodegradable that you're tying it with and you want it to bite in and be tight um, and not have uh, plastic zip ties, for example, then, you know, this is a really good product for that. So the pouches come with a kebab stick, just in case you haven't got one. You just need to poke about a dozen holes, make sure that that's in both sides. Um, and then, I'm not very good at timing, uh, some of you might know that. And we have here, happy time, hourglasses. That one is a five minute, and that one is a 10 minute. So I'm going to pop this into, um, obviously I usually put it into a bucket, but I'm going to pop this into a clear glass vase so that you can actually see what's going on. It's got Pro 2 in it. Um, we always use Chrysal um, flower foods and we use Pro2 to increase the longevity. And yeah, that's just gonna go into there. I'm just gonna get it under the water. So that's gonna soak probably for somewhere in between five and 10 minutes, which means that it's going to be fully hydrated. You can top these up. Um, you know, in a few days, if you wish, in order to make sure that it's fully hydrated. This is a little sympathy tribute. So I'm going to tie that on like that when that's hydrated. So, quite heavy when it's soaked. Feels similar weight to a floral foam brick. No surprises really, because it's a similar amount of water, I believe, that's going you know, into it. So. so I reckon that's nearly coming up to about eight or nine minutes. And you can see how much it hydrates. So now we've got a bag pillow of coir and gel that's hydrated. And we've then got a parcel. So you can see there's any excess water is just gonna drip out. So I can get rid of my stick.
what is cool about this is that the material on the outside is obviously holding all the moisture in so that means that it's not it's not going to uh, once the excess is out like that it's not going to lose a lot of moisture You can see if I do a tug test, exactly the same holding capacities as floral foam. So no problem there with actually, you know, holding the materials in. They're not gonna slip out. Um, you will may have a problem if you keep poking in and poking out and changing the way that you're, uh, you're putting them into the, into the base. So I think this is a really good medium to use, especially if you're trying to do something speedy. Um, we usually make most of our funeral bases on moss. Um, we've got it readily available here. We bring it in from Norfolk, and if you're a regular subscriber to our videos, you will have seen a moss video. But sometimes, especially when the weather is turning hot, you need something that will hold a lot of moisture, then I think this is a really great solution for that. So what I wouldn't generally use in, um, in the ocean pouch are probably the same types of flowers that I wouldn't usually put into floral foam. So I wouldn't necessarily use anything that's hollow. So quite difficult, things like daffodils, tulips, spring flowers, I'd probably still put onto moss and make sure that they were fully hydrated beforehand. And sometimes we plug the um, narcissus as well. So you really can get quite a lot of material in here. No more or less than you could get into a foam, a foam brick. And I think it's a great alternative um, to use something that's going to be biodegradable in such a short amount of time. You know, the tests that we've done, you can literally see that this is starting to degrade down um, and this is simply compost so it's uh, it's looking really great game changer indeed so when you finish the design we always spray with cries of glory just to make sure that everything is hydrated And also, if you're putting this on sympathy tributes, apparently it's got a bitter taste that the rabbits don't like. And because the rabbits don't like it, um, they have a tendency to leave it alone. Whether it works on deer or not, I don't know. But basically, uh, it will stop them from chomping away at your flowers. That's an added bonus. It also slows down the um, respiration rate of the flowers, just provides a sort of gentle coating on there to make sure that everything is going to last really well. So plenty uh, hydrated and it weighs about a similar, similar um, weight to uh, floor foam brick. So yeah, shake test. <laughs>